<laughs> so <laughs> if I had a chance of going back to high school, I will not go because I will drop out of school. I think that's what I can happen right now because uh, when I was in high school, I struggled to, like my hope was to rely one day, complete this journey. Right. Yeah, so going back, so going back to high school, to me, I cannot go back because uh, that is like going back to my journey to drop off from school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and <coughs> You know, I'm still, I'm still digesting. You went through seven high schools. Nini lifanya bro kafikia uka ya kwanza, ya pili, ya tatu, ya nne. Kwanza. Um, I find myself in the street uh, when I was around uh, five years. You see, you you come to know who you are, uh, how you you are when you are at a certain age. Right. So you see, I grew up in the street, that is Kisi. No one knew about that because uh, I'm someone who always don't display the problems I'm going through. Right. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so when I was in uh, primary, I think Sijafanya class one, class two, Sijafanya, class three. I did class five, um, I jumped to class seven. Then now, because of uh, when I was in the street, I was working as a mechanic. Yeah, oh, we were okay. in a group of um, kids. Yeah, right. Uh, you see, when you are a street kid, just there's nothing different with the street kid who is in Kisi and the street yeah. kid who is in Nairobi. In Nairobi. The right. same thing where they use the marijuana, they use the the gum, the bang. Yeah, right. So everything is just the same. They're that kind of living. Life, yeah. yeah. So it's I don't know. I, I think it is just God. I can say myself like that because uh, I didn't find myself using all that. Though I participated um, in the morning or night when people mamamboga wa metoka sayo asi umeenda umeaslu metengeneza hizo magari alafu employer na kuambia party 50 bob for lunch but you see you they are they are using your skill to they're using your skill to to gain what they want yeah yeah, yeah so uh, my interest was nijue ni jiwe kufanya kitu at least i can survive with that yeah. but later on i think i was just on my own with my thoughts and uh, when i reached in um uh, primary class eight I did I enrolled that I find someone I'm a, I was always a social person I approach <laughs> by <I> take <laughs> risk yeah mm. so when I met this guy I later Prado I remember we were supposed to change the <laughs> gearbox <laughs> Kisi oh. we say uh, Kisi town Darajambili oh. yeah. children's home no I was reaching Ikifika <laughs> 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 no that's okay. a story for another day, Asa. but I don't. Asa. So, yeah. ikifika usiku, tunalala kwa izu, magari tunatengeneza. Maybe, mm. so unaweza pata pali street, kuna magari zilitengenezo kitambo. Yeah. Wenye, ziko, ziko tu hapo. Yeah. So, hapo ndiyo tunafungua, tunaingia hapo, tunalala. So, mm. so, kama tulipatiwa 50 bob, fine. Mm. Kama tuku patiwa, nivo. so it's up to you to mm. go and look for how you want to eat. Survive, yeah. Na kule kuna ile design ya kuenda kupiga wa sengeta cause na jua street ni harsh manzi o, 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 si place uneza chezea na kupata food tu seme vilo mesema 50 bob in a day maybe yo siku wakuna ulu kuna pataji ya food I remember uh, reason why yu mamba ya kupiga ngeta I was once in one group Aha. ikifika jioni they go to our mali wanawuzo mena mboga kwa mm -hmm. wamama Mm -hmm. So I remember one day, there's a guy, we were going as a group, he around 11, around 1. Okay. You see town, kila mtu anatembea hivu hivu. Mm -hmm. So ilifika hiyo time, there's a guy tulikuwa nayo, u mama alitoka kununua mchele, uh, unga, na alikuwa na nyama. So this guy, akaenda haka snatch hiyo bag. Na venya li snatch hivi kumbe kulikuwa na lori, ileza zile za 12 izili ziko na gurudumu 12 na kuja mbio kutoka you see the um, kisi town inakuja hii hii mteremko inaenda daraja mbili 
right. so venye alisina chivi kwenda kukimbia gari ikakuja ikakanyaga ikakaa kama chapati so from then i think i was not involved in such thing nikilala njani sawa upon the only reform yeah nikilala njani sawa yes. but drugs i didn't use drug at all aha sasa so, so, uh, apo ulikuwa form not form ulikuwa bado primary was in class 8 this class 8 yeah. so i was going to school uh-huh. during the day because i had not uh, kulikwanga primary kulu tuko na vitu wanasema zile primary za village eh? daraja mbili is kind of village right. yeah it is not town that mm. too much so uh-huh. pale tuko na sijui pesa ya walimu right. so i w- i was not paying that i didn't have that so uh-huh. no part of day time you don't attend classes Right. So the only thing you can do you have friends le wale fundisha nini waze wale fundisha nisaidie notes zako. Right. So the only thing you do or you are trying to do that please nipate hii 1500 kitambo ilikuwa 1500 enrollment fee. Aha. Uh-huh. Nipate hii 1500 yani ya kufanya exam ama national exam case CP. Yeah. yeah. So hiyo ndilikuwa natafuta that was my major by then. Okay. So unatafuta hii ukishatafuta nilitafuta ikapi I think This, um, I can remember that guy still alikuwa na itwa Jose he was uh, he was my mentor in mechanics so mm, mm, this a day to live mm, deal this a engine the the engine plus the gearbox ilifa kutoka Uganda alafu tunaweka kwa gari right. so ilikuja hii deal ilienda akapatiwa 50k akakuja kanipatia 3000 so nikapata hiyo pesa nikaenda nikalipa nika enroll Okay. Ya benye nili enroll siku perform poa nilipata 255 marks. Okay. So later um, now selection of school always uh, when I wanted to go to school what came to my mind first nitalipa ifi aje. Ndio niko na ile hamu ya kuenda those big schools those national schools but sasa okay. marks pia yangu yes. So when the Uh, but now the high school part to say my Chamberlain Orland Roll from one because because uh, I believe kuna kongana ile culture shock ya we join TV high school yako ilikuwa boarding ama ilikuwa primary in Orland Roll first i went to uh, secondary uh, the day school so ilikuwa day school ni kind of form one yeah. nika drop third term okay sikufanya okay so nikaenda nikaingenda shule nyingine so. nikaenda form two form 2 okay. nikafanya hapo nikamaliza. Yeah. So later nikapata huyu yeah. Jose the same. Okay. Akaniambia bro you need to go to school name on potential. Yeah. So nikaenda nika enroll Migori boys. Okay. Now uh, yeah. you learned at seven high schools uh, I not wezi pity a bro story yote. Yeah. Na zataka tu zile uh, zile uh, experiences zile ku share zenye unazosema cuz says you go university of Nairobi bro. It's a very big achievement now unasema political yeah. uh, uh, science na peer and you utaku economist as well. Zile experiences zenye zile ku share zika kufanya vile uko hivi ni kama gani zenye ungesema hili ni change ya dimeni kama adult ama mse nimekuwa mkubwa easy na easy what changed me in, in high school i didn't have any hardship okay because uh, when i went to migori boys i was elected i was appointed librarian okay by the deputy so in high school there was no any challenge the only challenge i had is that uh, ukenda ku serve mazo na kutana watu bigi alafu uh. wewe uko hivi so uh. lazima utangoje watu malize ku serve right. so ukimiss ni hivyo Leo. So it's your pocket. It's your pocket. Yeah. So, so in short <laughs> il, il BDP will survive some sort yeah, of una bullying. survive you yeah. struggle yet. Lakini right. eti yeah. nikisema eti high school ilikuwa na struggle nikisoma no. Right. Nilipenda vitabu. You will panda vitab. Yeah. Nice and I love the fact that you go University of Nairobi which is a big achievement. <laughs> yeah. Let me throw it back to you Elvis. Kuna yeah. kuna peer pressure manze ya kufitin and you mentioned you are an Nairobian. Kuna kuanga na ile fasa kuliko same yeah. same to mind. Wale wasi walikuwa wanatoka Kanairo Manzende walikuanga ma bad boy. As in wende walikuwa na sema kwa mta. So, How was your experience for you? So first of all in my school Nairobian were known as failures. Walikuwa ma failures. Kaundo <laughs> unajua in our school we had this uh, routine where whenever we released results we had top 10 and bottom 10. So right. for top 10 the oh, top 10 uh, what I'm telling you be given gates but for the bottom 10 we had like an academic forest yeah. where there was a certain place that was like a kind of hill so yeah. once you were like a bottom 10 ulikuwa unaona kitipale so Nairobians ingekuwa angekuwa kwa that group 
the teachers go as far as pinpointing uyu kwanza uyu uyu ni wa kibera ama uyu ni wa kawangware something like that so there was that thing of uh, being in discipline, in discipline cases from people from Nairobi, no yeah. performers, you know. I laugh while you're on a Jisha show. You know, Nairobi is still well to a certain class. They think right. they're better than others. So, yeah. me, when I entered school, I think also for me uh, in my primary, I think one thing that really made me to go to that school was that the fact that I, I didn't perform as I expected in primary. So, yeah. that was like my first result. So, that if I perform well, I call. Uh, Along the my high school, I would be taken to a better school. So me okay. ilikuwa, man, I have to work hard and perform so that I can get myself out of this school. But Mushoe, I still was there. So for me, when in Ngeo Shule, those peer pressure of uh, trying people on a journey. I will be on a journey. Do you Nairobian? But when you are a is like uh, on a talk journey, you are better. So the fact that I was not willing to like maybe uh, nini, conduct myself the way they did. Right. They saw that me and I'm better than them. No, no. Yeah. So there's that thing of uh, people feeling that I have. Uh, maybe the one thing at all in Shayamua, I've never tried to fit in. You've never? I've never. <laughs> like because fitting in is not I think choice, that's right? a lot yeah. of pressure on me. That's a lot of struggle. Why would I right. try to be someone I'm not? No. Yeah. And like, I, I could let her some flack. It did. It did. Uh -huh. Because being my authentic self was kind of intimidating to some people because they yeah. expected me to fold what they wanted me to like maybe be yeah. but I wasn't willing to do that because my main agenda in that school was to make sure I make it because you know, while I was getting into high school total let, let me be totally honest I, I thought I was going to be a failure wow I thought I was going to be a failure because I remember I failed there was option of repeating but I didn't so I went to school but I was the last from one to be admitted right. in that school in first time because I remember the when I entered there were two weeks to the end term exams so right. you can imagine uh -huh. entering into a new school, everyone is uh, a shaka chop to the nini syllabus, you're way behind. Right. So you don't have a, a, like a direction. I want a time, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. even the people you're with in class, they think, you know. Right. So there's also your thing, your failure. But once I got to school, I was like, I have to like really do what has to be done to right. make sure I don't live to what I thought I would be. And that's a failure. Right. So for me, Nikinge, you know that school was a mixed school. Let oh, me it was a mixed school. school. It was yes. a mixed school and there was that pressure. Relationship. We were also supposed to discuss about relationship. Relationship. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Because when you happen to adolescence, I'm telling you, Especially that's... Especially because from two months, the V2s are move from zero to a hundred. I'm really quick. glad I went to a mixed school because right. every time yeah. we went for funkies, the yeah. way so boys conduct themselves, I don't blame How them. How is the funkies, by the way? Is it my outing, sir? Amazing. I would uh, tell you, I went to majority of funkies because I was the type of person I didn't like to miss out. Okay. Yeah, so I, any time, any opportunity to go out, I will be right. the first. And then you want to make sure, Mimi is all. Drama because club, because I know a lot of people who are in art and drama club, could have yeah. been at done these events. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. We I don't get missed, I will go top of the list. Miss. Especially yeah. with music festival, I never missed even once. Uh -huh. So it's only because I like, uh, all through... Then also with the YCS, the youth, whatever, for yeah. Catholics. Even I used for to go, CU. Yeah, for CU, but I was right. a Catholic, so I used to go for all of those. Right. Then there was the, these academic trips, and you know, up and up. Right. I love Is it my symposium? Yeah, and then I used to go for those. So, uh -huh. it's only little like sana, because sometimes school, I wouldn't say, me gila kila kila mtu anajua, school was not always at the amazing. Right. You know, yeah. sometimes, this is the funniest thing, and I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to say this on air, but I remember, yeah. kuna time our school was like, it was so hard. Until what on the on the ski of fununi of kuzwa fees, I'm telling you people would pray. Aki God, I hope tomorrow ni fukuzwa in the home because. But why? But then you know what I'm Is it because ni food in the ilko ambaya? For my school, life was unbearable. For because mixed, it was boarding or day school. It was boarding, both boarding and day school. So yeah, it was both boarding. But me, I opted to like just board because the day school was kind of. I saw my fellow members who were like ah doing in day school and it was kind of difficult for them and you know from from where the school was and where my my home was it's kind of a bit of a distance so i could not right. manage every day in the morning so i was boarding i would say the school wasn't but you know it was not uh, like i told you just my niche school so kind of right. uh, some of the resources were scarce but it was still manageable so i would say some maybe uh the conditions there were a bit tough you know i love to be was even better that mm -hmm. was me yeah. if i hear people i hear even sometimes i hear my sister went to a national school like in NBA, the kind of that they were they were they were, they were, they were, they were like, i was like hey so remember i told you like uh, my first uh, form one and form two i was a bit sick 
So okay. through that, that process, I was diagnosed with ulcers. So okay. I remember in our school, we had a special diet. Yeah. Let me call it special yeah, diet for people yeah. who had ulcers. So <laughs> I can't, you know, you relate to the diet was, me, if I tell you the, the diet, it was, eh, hey, where's your mini? And it was in the diet, I'm not even in the shift. <laughs> remember there was there were times we used to i usually when i tell people they usually think i'm, I'm actually You're doing lying. comedy mm -hmm. but i remember in the a scorching sun at lunch time right. the diet was you're supposed to take gideri and right. hot porridge gideri and hot porridge you only food your lunch that's lunch and gideri wow. was like the norm ugali marago was the, also the norm so me I, from when i was diagnosed with ulcers Githeri Kando, Marago, because now I was, I was not allowed, and Skuma also, I was not allowed to take acidic food. Right. So now the diet was cabbage. Mm, My friend, if yeah. you can call me a, a, a rabbit, you, I, I deserve that you know because what? I ate those you are, cabbage. You're a senior counsel ah, in the kingdom. I ate those cabbage. <laughs> but you survived, and look I at survived. you. You're here, man. I survived, I survived. And you know, those moments, though, in any many phones are, you know, right. especially with the life, you know, you are, there are always those moments whereby not everything in Akuja too easily. Right, so yeah. I think in those moments, even when I look back, in Patia, the, the, the virtue of persevering yeah. throughout yeah. Uh, difficult times in life, you know, yeah. because it was about food. Yes, it was right. kind of like, on, ah, this was not something I wanted to do. But when I kind of look at it in, my, in a life perspective, Kuna time it Africa, you not have everything the way you're used to. Right. So it kind of shifts things me change. to yeah, you know, things from change. Good to bad, you have to persevere. Yeah, yes, there's muscle. always mountains and valleys. So right, yeah. kuna that aspect of persevering through sometimes hardship, and uh, I think that's aspect one aspect that really shaped me, and also discipline in that school. Discipline, you know, schools yeah. in Nyanza. You know, when I went there, the, the kind of discipline. Hey, it's quite Viboko mukomna pigo Viboko. <laughs> that was Viboko ata mukomna. Even performance wise. Yeah. And on that note, how did you deal with Oli Moya before I come to you, Daniel? You'll mm -hmm. also answer the same question. Mm -hmm. Oli did and, and also for you, Elvis, how did you deal with teachers who are so harsh, they don't want you to get below 70%. It's physics. The pass marks is 75. Uh -huh. If you don't get that... You know, at first, I, I kind of, I, I was like, I hated that. I hated those type of teachers. But towards my form four, I was like, I love you. I, I love you because no can being the strict on me kind of made me even uh, try, always aspire to scale high in terms of my grades. Because I remember in right. our school, we, we were selecting uh, the subjects at Form 1. Okay. And I remember we were doing agriculture, those uh, computer and business. So when you're choosing a subject, you have to choose from those three. Right. Uh, those business, agriculture and <coughs> computer. With computer and agriculture, I would say I, wouldn't, I wasn't bad off. But business, I was... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, I was like, I'm not going to do agriculture. Farm tools yeah. really got a hold on me, and I was like, no. Computer with the option, uh, with the kind of uh, category I was supposed to select, it would right. have been difficult to manage all those uh, three sciences and, uh, and, and together with the computer. So, I opted for business. But no, and also maths, I was failing. So, right. NMBA, you cannot do business. Apo kuna accounting bele. Because so, there's ma math yeah. in a boost. Mm. Yeah. So, NMBA, maths will perform. You can D. You have Bs in computer and agriculture. Why are you living those? No, your me. chemistry up. Yeah, <laughs> me ni kamambia too. Me be there. There's no way I'm doing that. You know yeah. that teacher in front of parents, I can NMBA, eh, wepo unanyagale, unanyagale, di kapo uleza di piga. But it was not like, I was like, I made my mind I was going to do business. Okay. No, so from that point, and you challenge. did it finally. Yeah, I you did, did it as I among your last year, uh, Because you know, yeah. you, are, you know, there was that target you know, right, I yeah. want to get a B plus. The teacher right. was like, I, you cannot come from D and expect a B plus. I can make right. a C. Wow. Do you know from uh, from there henceforth I became the top in business Student class. In business. Now you can stick. Until I finished. Wow. Until yeah. I finished. And maths also improved. So and you also improved. Yeah. Our, our limo when you are like they were so hard on us. Right. Trust you me, there were those who like they had an impact in my life. Than yeah, those, life yeah. maybe they didn't. You know, there were teachers when you fail in pass, but when only you want to insist, want to insist, and it will be on your case. I don't know if you hear, hey, that's my tough love. Hey, you know, this is too much. No, overdue. Overdue, but <laughs> come to Niki Angalia. When I look back, I was like, I'm like, thank yeah, it you. Worked. Thank it you. Worked. I'm usually like, great, thank you. Yeah, Daniel. Experience yako na wali mwalu kwa hashi likuwa. Basically, um, yeah. to me, I always try to make friends with them. Okay. When I find you are very harsh, yeah. I always, because everyone has got a weakness. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I always look who, you, your weakness. 
Na wale wale mwalo kwa nakupanish punish. Unajua kuna wale ma studio yenye wale mwalo mwalo nota. Mekombe masema huyu Daniel huyu. Huyu anasumbuanga huyu wanalala huyu wanasnik. Huyu hakujangi on time ama si msafi. Kwa luka na vitu kama hizo. No I think I was never found on indiscipline. Okay. Yeah. See. Sit. Okay. I had my bad side and my bad side is that um, when I was, when those teachers were very harsh, once I'm offended, na kuanga kichwa ngumu. So, <laughs> that's why. Kwa sababu, mazu unapata mulima na kueka na kuchapa viku kama sita. Yeah. Nale sema kumi. Yeah. Tena anacha, anakuchapa na no, is doesn't care. Apana, sisi alinakuchukua na kuweka kwa tikati ya mgu wa lafu kina baki. Uh-huh. So, hapo ndia anachapa matako. Uh-huh. So, I, at some point, you have to get to work. But, as long yeah. as, you uh-huh. just have to find a way. Kwa sababu ni mtu, utako unakutana na ipa class. Right. In the ABC show. So, yeah. you just have to find a way to kwe rafiki na hao. Na wakikuja, atakwambia, ah, then yeah. you have to work. Ah. Okay. Now um uh b- before before I come back to you Elvis um when uh, when it comes to even uh, understanding the issue of like even the boy child itself in in, in a vast perspective kuna venye especially if at a certain age kuna pressure unataka uko na dem unataka odet you know uh unataka uonyeshe wase kwamba you're in love nini nini na kuna kuna ile issue kwa territorial eh especially a perform too mafankizi kianza kuingia ingia hapo hivyo for you how did it go oh i remember there was that bit i would say and i was like uh i was like i pia mimi lazima unajua ilifika wakati you know the letters were still a thing me for me bado ilikonga when you go for kids unapata a lot of letters from uh, maybe a girl school because you know yes we have ladies in our school but out to know on a daily obviously when you go to funkies you love you want to be like maybe have a thing with someone from an outside school so there was right. that bit of a chain also uh, to ensure because you know ah people usually walikuwa naona ah Elvis huyu ah nikapendi stuff to but i i'd say i was more focused on my academics but so also, adolescent yako iko na pressure ah it was it hard and i remember at, at some point i was like really nigenda nilikuwa nimeenda funky and right. i was like literally trying to like talk to like multiple of girls because i know yes my game was not that if you buy sana because i know yes i was very appealing in fact people didn't think i was from st paul's you know my our school was uh, almost similar to like i remember yala boy so people would assume i'm from a like a big oh, school yeah yeah so for me it was not some sort many. of group of schools i was hard i was i was in music I could sing you know how funky is mkienda mna serenade was chana na vuku imba yeah, imba yeah, you know yeah. so it was a plus for me and i was like I, I i can actually have a girlfriend if i wanted to so una joke enda unataka pia kuonyesha watu wasee but then niliongea na ule de niliongea na ule ama kulikuwa na ile design pia walikuwa natuma love letters hey, yeah, nini unasikia yeah. kwa letters zenye zinasoma uko hapo kuna kama mbili tatu walikuwa una just have ile maboys mnashinda me mechesheshana ati oh nini 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 ati eh nani ameambiwa na nani alafu like if the if the babes is like really pretty it's a plus to you so there was that bit but nikakuja kwa na ah let me not feed into that too much you know i wanted right. if it was like in someone let me like them because of how how they ni wapende tu siku ati nimekuwa push to doing that no right. so nika, i allowed it to happen it naturally, was naturally, yeah. naturally so so how come rui unajua no but wengi walikuwa wa rui your time because mm-hmm. adolescent is kicking in mzando huyo akona i was cheeky nene. though i was yako ilikuwa seamless i was cheeky but uh-huh. uh with the way i always like to conduct myself as a very disciplined person right. it kind of overshadowed uh, my cheekiness but sometimes in gaonyesha onyesha and some some teachers who are like my friend will say umeanza kuwa cheeky but Uh, you know we reformed and you know our school was very discipline was key so uh, also that bit of even though adolescent was kicking in at two from two kuna tu ile unataka kujionyesha nyindo mauru nyindo kusema nini nini you really right. had to tone it down and just allow yourself to be guided right so for that yo know, that bit Mm. Daniel, uh, I'm told we have two minutes before we exit. Okay. Uh, okay. How was your adolescent stage, your time? I think uh, to me, I never allowed adolescence to influence me uh-huh. because I knew what I wanted. Though okay. lazimu kuwe na ile kahamu like, eh, hey, mimi waze watu wako na day, mimi niko aje. Mm, mimi yeah. Yeah. Like, Ako wai lia, ukandika love letter. No. To be honest, for me, I once wrote a love letter, my friend. Yeah. It's a, it's a film. Love. We shall shoot love. a film on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you never wrote a love letter. <laughs> no, no, no. I never did that. I, I think I grew up where 
unaambiwa the uh, life career ni kusoma mm-hmm. kuenda high school, uh, high school university ukishamaliza you get a job you marry mm-hmm. eh yeah. so i grew up nikiambiwa hiyo so that's the mindset i had lakini mambo ya adolescence i didn't let adolescence to influence me Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. all right, uh your last comments Elvis before we come to like uh general nini kitu gani you may learn from your high school experience and your resume this one is still outstanding till now. Kuna watu walikuwa traumatized and mm-hmm. it's still affecting them till right now. Wako 27, 30, 40 but wako na bad memories of high school. So in general, now. high school had both its positive and negatives. Okay. For me the negatives were some points where I even questioned God like people usually say everything happens for a reason but I it reached a point where things were really hard until I questioned God like if everything happens I do question reason, God nikauliza Mungu like even if you had a reason and you always knew because they usually say God knows even something that what would you to happen so right. me, like God kama hii ndio ulikuwa umeniplania to go through this hell because sometimes in high school it reached some point where it was hard for me even at night like I would really like be so shaken afraid, because they are afraid and are uh, very emotional because in liquor, because i could not show it to people because yeah. obviously you know people. Yeah, yeah. so uh, there were friends but i was not willing you know when you mean liko ngule mtu i would say i was more introverted when i was in high school than yeah. extroverted like i am right now but okay. your time so that was that bit but the positives was like discipline wise okay discipline wise okay and also the the act of perseverance so while life is going on for me i know my discipline came from that school perseverance came from that school so there are also those bits of uh, good qualities that came from those schools and the negative we try to overshadow it with good moments in life that's all i can say fantastic perfect uh, my friend daniel lesson gani ulijifunza nye unaweza itumia hadi leo ama bado unaitumia hadi leo high school nothing is easy every achievement need commitment perseverance and yeah hii mambo watu wanasema hard work doesn't pay hard work pays okay there's nothing like working smart pays hard work pays kwa sababu yeah. you have to be hard you have okay. to be hard yeah. True. yeah thank you so much i'm told they will have a part two of this conversation again please elvis uh Osi disappear and Daniel will support it. Alviso Tieno, who is a journalist, and uh, Daniel Nyakwach, yeah. who is a political analyst and an economist as well from the University of Nairobi. Thank you, Sana, for coming through and uh, for your time. Hopefully, we'll have a part two of the same. Please, you can find us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. at Y254 channel. You can find me at Brian Soko 101. Ensure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can plug in using the hashtag uh, Y in the morning. In the meantime, we are out. We wish you an amazing Monday.